ladies. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic time at our Jamberry party. I want to just take a few minutes of your time here to talk about something that is very important that tends to kind of get pushed in the background sometimes in my parties. I'm so busy talking about how great the nail wraps are, how easy they are to apply, um, all the different designs, how durable they are, all of those great benefits, also the affordability. But one thing I seem to always just mention but I don't really concentrate on much is the removal of your nail wraps. Um, it is so important that you remove them gently and carefully so as to not damage your nails. Um, if you remove, if you just simply peel them off, that is the worst thing you can do and you could damage your nails, um, could take off layers of your nails and we certainly don't want that. If you follow what I'm about to do, that, w that should not happen. Of course, things always happen, but if you follow this, your nails should be protected and should remain strong and protected and not lose those different layers or peel or anything like that. It really doesn't take much. Um, all you need is some kind of oil. Um, I just use whatever's in my kitchen. Right now it's canola oil. Um, you can use coconut oil, olive oil, pretty much anything. Not sure if motor oil would work, but hey, if you want to try that, go ahead. <laughs> um, I like to use a shot glass just simply because it's narrow and it's taller so you can get your finger down in there and you can get a lot of oil in there and not have to worry about um, not having enough. And then you just need one of these floss picks. You can buy them pretty much anywhere, um, drugstores, Walmart, any of those. I think they even have them at the Dollar Tree, like 50 in a package for a dollar. Um, and you can you can use them multiple times if you want to hold on to it for that reason. Um, it is definitely time for me to take my wraps off. As you can see, they are getting quite worn. My lighting is a little bit bad there, but I'm also getting a lot of growth gap, and that's the part that just absolutely drives me crazy. Um, I have had these on for about let me think I think about 17 days, so it's time. I've definitely, they've definitely gotten their use. So all you want to do is just take your oil and pull it, pour it into your container. Like I said, I like to use a shot glass. You can use a, a small bowl or anything for that matter. All you want to do is just put your finger in. Get a different angle here so you can see better. Get your finger in the oil. Just let it soak for just a little bit. And then you want to take your floss pick and just gently and slowly work it underneath let me see if I can get it better just get it worked underneath there and break that seal and just start to peel it back a little bit and you'll start to feel a little bit of resistance once you know that you're to the point where it's still well adhered to your nail so you just want to dip it in a little bit more and just start getting that oil worked underneath there and just keep working it just I mean I'm just not even barely tugging at it just ever so gently And as you see, it just popped right off. And a lot of times, especially, yeah, all the adhesive came off on that one. Um, a lot of times, especially with some of your sparkles, um, actually almost always with the sparkles and some of the metallics, sometimes there will be um, a little bit of a residue left behind. It's kind of a silvery color. Don't freak out. Didn't ruin your nail. It's just a little bit of the adhesive still left on there. All you have to do is just take your, I just use a paper towel, probably use a cotton ball or whatever. Just dip it in your oil, put it on your finger and just keep rubbing, 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 rubbing and it'll come off. So, again my lighting is not all that great, but as you can see I don't have any damage to my nail and the wrap is off. So, of course I have nine more to go, but it's not that thrilling so I'm certainly not going to make you watch it. 
If you have any questions, uh, certainly ask um, your consultant, and I'm sure they will be able to help you with anything that you need. Thank you so much. Have a great day.